Café. Ride with us every last Friday night of the month. Cruise the airwaves and savor the sound on Radio Café. A place where we vibe to the rhythms and savor the beats from hidden gems to classic all stars. On Radio Café. Kick back and enjoy the ride. Experience the flavor through sound. Once again, right here, my name is Pedro Reyes. This is KPFA 94.1 FM. Welcome to another edition of Radio Cafe, right here on La Onda Bajita on the last Friday of the month. This is what we do. We bring you music, talent from the community, by the community, for the community, you know? So once again, uh, stay tuned. We're kicking it right here with uh, special folks who are going to give you some music, some poetry, and it is almost the end of the month as we are getting close to that end of the month. I want to let you know this was Poetry Month, so we're trying to bring you a lot of poetry, and tonight you're going to be hearing a lot of good poetry from these folks right here. Que se llama Trujillo and the Universal Family came, came through right here in Santa Rosa, donde estamos recording aquí on at the Arlene Francis Center. So once again, shout outs to the Arlene, Arlene Francis Center for letting us be here and do this show and uh, be able to record. Uh, shout outs to Falcon también for holding it down technically. Gavilan, Mr. Chuch, and all La Onda Bajita crew. You know how we do. And before we start, we just want to say thank you to the ancestors. Thank you to the Four Directions. And again, we give thanks to this energy of poetry that comes from the soul, you know? So here we go, stay tuned. We got Trujillo and the Universal Family right here. Miguel, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, muy bien, aquí estamos. These are the songs of the pilgrimage with the UFW. And this song comes to me at the sacred land of the capital of the state. This is called Tonantzin. Family, Art, and Love by Trujillo. Another 24-hour day in Sacramento. With the vigil on this sacred land, after dark till early morning, rats rumbling everywhere. Some nights we fell asleep on sight. Other times, as warriors, we'd fight to stay up all night. Oh, Mother Earth, brown Guadalupana, your light can guide our path through the dark moments. And when morning star arrives, we can still connect with your motherly love through our roots. The fire of your altar is burning in our chest, and the kids, the new generations, are ready to keep it burning. Now the time has arrived, and each of us must part ways to fulfill our mission in life, and I accept it with tears of joy rolling down my face. My beautiful people of the valley and Sacramento, we're friends, we're relatives, we're all part of this huge cosmic being called family, art, and love, Tonantzin. Inside. 
nada de madrugada ratas corriendo veces dormía y veces velaba madre bendita guadalupana tu luz nos guía en noche y mañana tu altar mantiene el fuego encendido los niños listos Despido contento con lágrimas sobre mis mejillas, gente de valle y de sacramento. Somos hermanos, somos familia. Madre bendita Guadalupana, tu luz nos guía en noche y mañana. Tu altar mantiene. This is called The People's Power by Trujillo. As you may have seen through history, there's no such thing as an uncertain future. But all of this, only if you and I pull the rope together towards a mutual center, solidarity. I insist, come join us. The time is just perfect. Let's fight as a team so the well-being can also shine upon our people. No one can turn their face and say that we are not awake. We, the giant, are up on our feet by the hand of our ancestors, and we are here to stay. Podrás verlo No hay futuro incierto Si tú y yo calamos Hacia un mismo centro Pues perfecto Vamos a luchar porque el bien Y en nuestro pueblo
que estamos despiertos. El gigante está puesto en pie y de la mano con nuestros ancestros. Pues perfecto Vamos a luchar porque el bien Brille en nuestro pueblo Brille en nuestro pueblo Nuestro pueblo hoy. Ajo, ajo. Once again, my name is Pedro Reyes. You're listening to Miguel Trujillo and his wife, Patricia. Uh, so, and we also got a guy here and who's going to. We're kind of bringing you poetry, music, and as you can see, uh, we got Miguel over here. Miguel, este, puedes venir aquí, por favor, so you can tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, you know, how did you get into music uh, and spiritual movements like this? You know, it's, it's uh, uh, very beautiful uh, the way uh, I got into uh, poetry and music. Uh, my grand, uh, grandmother is uh, Chichimeca from this place called Ixcamilpa uh, de Guerrero, Puebla, uh, where it's, it means uh, land where the lambs grow like uh, 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 maize plants. So Ixcamilpa. And her name was Apala, uh, which means beautiful woman with marks in her skin uh, who writes uh, spiritual songs? Mm. But yeah, and and I'm I'm from there, and it's uh, this uh, beautiful uh, poetry uh, that uh, we rely uh, on on our ancestors to uh, to bring it in. Uh, so yes, in our Otomi, we believe in our dead people, and I believe that these songs are here uh, giving. Uh, to my uh, person to bring it into to this uh, cosmic family that we are. Yeah, I've definitely been feeling the music and the poetry. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, tell us, you know, where can folks already start to get your music or, you know, uh, find out more about where you're performing, for example, you know, so that way they can already know. And then what what got you into, you know, the spiritual part of it, where you, you were also on a journey with the UFW, uh, you know, guiding the, the march through Aslan, you know, basically, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about this journey too. Yes, it is uh, a, a beautiful. Uh, actually, we are uh, f uh, from East Side San Jose, uh, uh, where Cesar Chavez started organizing uh, and we belong to this uh, uh, group, which is called Grupo Solidaridad. Uh, we are accompaniment uh, uh, people or warriors uh, to our people. And so that's, uh, that's why we actually received uh, uh, the invitation uh, to, to write in San Francisco. So we moved to... Uh, uh, everything start. We moved to uh, San Francisco for four years to write uh, uh, Poder del Pueblo, uh, which was presented to uh, El Teatro Campesino. Uh, this vision to, to uh, do accompaniment to the UFW and the farm workers. Uh, and yes, uh, here we are. Uh, it was a beautiful experience. Uh, Rediscovering a lot of uh, a lot uh, of knowledge 
through our elders, uh, Wounded Knee, uh, and all the uh, relatives who, who were marching as a Gavilan, Molina, and, and all the brothers, yeah. Yes. Uh, can you tell us a little bit, too, you know, why is it important to be conscious about the music you're playing and what got you into that mindset as well? You know, you could have gone anywhere, uh, any other direction, but here you are, you know, singing these beautiful songs, uh, having poetry by your, your wife, Patricia, right? And so, again, uh, you know, shout outs to both of you for do making this happen. Uh, so tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I believe that uh, vibrations has a lot to uh, to do uh, with us, and and through the word and vibrations of the word and vibrations of the music, we can transform. Uh, either way, we can close a door or we can open a new windows uh, to a new dreams, and that's what we are uh, doing, uh, bringing this new pictures of uh, to our people so they they assure that they can dream and achieve things uh, through poetry and music and through the vibration changing uh, the, what we are uh, 90 some percent of water and that water is affected by the vibrations Right on. And what would you say to the youth, uh, you know, out there that are making music, that are still kind of like trying to figure out their message or just like their vibration in that sense of where they're going organically, you know? So how can they do that? You know, the youth uh, is something that we, uh, we really enjoy during the march and during the vigil outside the Capitol. And... Uh, a lot of youth join us during the march and during the vigil. And um, some people th might thought that it was about this, uh, passing this bill or law, but uh, it was more to uh, awakening this uh, fire in their chest. So what we see is uh, all these youngsters who came up uh, to help and to support the farm workers uh, movement and uh, um, to support us and feed us uh, during the vigil and the capital, they are uh, involving in activism fearlessly uh, right now. So we, we feel proud and we see a lot of hope. Uh, we receive a lot of hope on this new generations. I believe that we, uh, I can say this, we are doing our job and they are receiving the message. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. And you know, just for folks who don't know, you ended up walking 365 miles uh, from Delano out to Sacramento, right? And uh, just, I think the bill passed, right? Yes. And it got signed by the governor. So now, uh, do, can you just let him know what happens now that it's signed? <clears throat> Even though that is signed, it's not going to be implemented until January 2024. And we might see this like a, a, a failure of our fight, but uh, I see this as a, a big victory it's as I said before, it wasn't just because of uh, passing this bill for the right of the uh, farm workers, which it was uh, uh, important for us. Um, that's why we held uh, the capital for 20, uh, 32 days, 31 days, and um, uh, sleeping outside. Uh, but the, the most important thing is that... Uh, uh, we bring all this consciousness about uh, the movement, the solidarity that we need to seek together and, and to see us, uh, to see really that we are relatives, we are brothers, we must uh, uh, keep fighting together with hope. And Patricia just said you were there 31 days. Uh, Patricia, do you want to say some, something about your experience in the 365-mile walk that you were a part of? 
it was a beautiful experience, very tough, very uh, frustrating at times, but we came out with friends. I I'm not gonna say friends, family. Um, from that walk, those 24 days of walk, and then another uh, big chunk of family added after when we stayed at the vigil for 31 days. So we, we are so happy that we had that experience. We um, met so many uh, kids, young people, like my husband just said, that give us hope that we're doing the right thing and that we're leaving a, a good message for them and they're they're gonna they're gonna do well we believe that they're gonna keep the fight because man they they're they're fired up and and we we still talk to them we see them um, a lot of them and so we we just can't wait to see what they'll grow up to be and cheering them on you know just wanting more just to see them and be happy for for the future and can i ask uh, what were you, what was your role like what were what were some things that you were doing uh, as you uh, as part of the march on those 34 35 days 31 days sorry <laughs> it was 24 days of the march right um the march was from August 3rd to August 28th. And then we stayed at the, at the Capitol from, I think it was the, uh, I forgot the dates, but anyways, it was 31 days after that. But we, uh, me personally, I was driving a truck with all the supplies, which was mo mostly drinks, water, Gatorades, um, hydration supplies for all the marchers, and just kept on receiving all the donations and had to take them to places uh, to be kept when it was full and get it ready for the next donations and just following, following the marchers trying to be there if anyone needed a ride to rest a little bit they could hop on my truck and just be driving them for a bit and have them cool off a little bit and just you know uh, I guess my my experience was more of a listener because I, I got to listen to a lot of stories from the women mostly that would jump into my truck and share their stories with me so i got i got a a very a special mission to do through the through the march and then on the on the vigil was very a more intimate experience just being there and getting to to know more people and getting help from all the community bringing all the supplies the food and everything just watching over us it was very very beautiful to see everyone come together. Nice. And thank you for your good work. Uh, what would you say to the youth? How about yourself? What would you say to the youth out, out there that are getting involved, that are <clears throat> learning about Movimiento, that are, you know, getting inspired to make change in their communities? Yeah, um, it's, it's a hard job. I know, I, I hear it from a lot of them that they get down a bit, you know, because it's, it's not easy. It is very time consuming and very um, stressful, but it is very rewarding. And I just say, keep it up, don't give up. We, we're here to give you support as much as we can and, and you'll, You'll be okay. Don't don't worry. You'll you'll do good. <laughs> I know it's it's hard to to say it'll be okay, but um, you are our future, and don't give up. That's all I can say. We count on you. Uh -huh. 
Well, thank you very much. And last but not least, we're going to have Guy just share a couple words with us, too, because he was also a part of the walk and the journey, uh, the spiritual journey that took place with the UFW for a uh, 365-mile walk for 31 days almost, right? So depending where you were. Guy, welcome to the show. Oh, my name is Guy. Um, the march for me was uh, when I originally went, I was going representing indigenous people. I'm Irish, Scottish, and Native American, and I was invited on the march by the indigenous elders, Wounded Knee and Bruce Gella, and I represented AIM and all indigenous people. And for me personally, it was a spiritual journey. When I woke up in the morning, I said my prayers and I asked for strength and I asked for guidance, and that march led me to Miguel, where I sensed he was more than just you know, the guy in front of me, and I asked him to play my rattle. And I brought my drum, and from there it just kind of grew. Um, and I, I just want to say thank you to the elders of AIM and, and Gavilon and all the people that supported us, especially the people along the road. Um, they're forgot, you know, all, along the road there was kids and women, single mothers, so I just want to say thank you to them for supporting us along the way. Um, it was a very, very, very spiritual moving thing for me and very much a learning experience to you know to be able to walk with these people that have done this for so long um it's just been i'm i'm very grateful to be a part of it and and clearly i've i've grown family and friends people i'll know for my life from this and i'll carry this experience always with me it's just been very very enriching to my life and who i am and carrying this drum it's been a very very rewarding thing for me it's like i play the drum to be spiritual and in return, it rewards me. It's just been a very much a blessing. Well, thank you, Guy. Uh, you know, if anything you want to leave us with some words of wisdom for, for the audience? Mm, uh, words of wisdom. I'm not sure how wise they are, but um, I'll give it a shot. You know, in this world that we live in today, we have lots of politicians making lots of money, and there's lots of fights out there. If we pay attention to what's happening in this world, we can see there's right things to do in life. And if you follow your heart and use your head, you won't go wrong. Um, I'm a spiritual warrior. I'm a justice warrior. Um, I wake up every day praying, you know, for God to give me strength, for creator to give me strength to be able to carry on this fight. I ask for strength for my body to be able to carry myself to fight for other people because I'm in service to communities. So if you can do the same, it won't lead you wrong. It's been very enriching for me. Oh. I hope. Thank you. Well, thank you to all of you for your good work. We're going to go. I think we have one last song. Is that right, Miguel? Yeah. Uh, all right. So here we go. Again, Miguel Trujillo, Vasquez, and you can check him out on, you got a website. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> check out YouTube. <laughs> check out uh, Trujillo. Uh, T-R-U-J-I-J-J-O. <laughs> Or right here on La Onda Bajita, you know how it goes. Once again, Miguel Trujillo, Vasquez, y the Universal Family. You are tuned in to Radio Cafe. My name is Pedro Reyes. We'll be right back after this quick music break. Stay tuned. This last one is Essential Voice, Not Disposable by Trujillo. As essential, for sure, I will march. As essential, my demands, I will speak up. Justice and equity is due now. As essential, I need to vote and have fair representation in my community. Justice and equity is due now. With love and passion for my city, I will fight so the light of solidarity can shine upon all of us. Justice and equity is due now. As essential, I would like to emphasize our voice, our rights, and our vote being heard. That is justice and equity, and is due now. Como esencial, yo voy a marchar. Como esencial, mi voz levantar.
Remember Wounded Knee by Trujillo. What I'm about to tell you is something we should never forget and must be passed on. If you close your eyes, you can still see from here human beings and all living creatures falling down. They've been mutilated by Hodgkin guns. They've been torn apart from this world like wild flowers and tossed away with no mercy or remorse. Father, mother, and kids too. They tried to bury our dreams, but from the bones of our ancestors, we can see the sacred tree growing and blooming with sweet fruit called dreams. I will raise my voice. I will dream freedom, free Peltier, and forever remember Wounded Knee. Once again, that was uh, Trujillo and the Universal Family right here with us on Radio Cafe. Again, my name is Pedro Reyes. I want to say thank you to all the artists out here making music, making a difference with your music. And again, we always say thank you to the ancestors. Thank you to the Four Directions and giving thanks to that poetry that you heard tonight. Remember, it comes from the soul, so keep on writing.